How's it going everyone? My name is Andrew and today I'm gonna show you how to restore your headlights with a $15 kit from Harbor Freight. Let's go ahead and read the instructions because I have no idea how to do this, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is and what are the tools you actually need for this job. So this is our kit for the headlight restoration. So as we see, it's just uh, some pads, some polishing compound and small masking tape. And it also says it requires a power drill, of course, because this attachment right here will go into a power drill. So let's go ahead and unbox it. So here's our kit. Let's see what there is inside. Okay, everything dropped inside. So there's a small pad that you can put your your foam pads on and uh, I guess it attaches easily this is that side so that's that's nice some pads another foam pad that attaches to this sandpapers circular and masking tape also the polishing compound we have to check this out if it's uh, if it's making a good job or not and then we have our instructions so this one goes away and we have deluxe lens renewal system from Pittsburgh okay pieces included 500 grit 800 grit 3000 grit orange polishing pad, black polishing pad, and polishing compound. You need also a drill, of course, detail cloth and spray bottle. So basically you start from the 500 grit and you go up. Uh, after that you go sand lens using medium to light pressure, remove yellowing and surface detex, sand lens using a slow and steady back and forth action when the disc is clocked no longer sends effectively replace with a new 500 grit abrasive disc okay uh, wipe off and inspect the lens all yellowing it, it has very 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 detailed instructions I'm, I'm pretty into it remove 500 grit put 800 grit wipe the lens same procedure with 800 grit, grit. Um, then use a spray bottle apply enough water to dampen both the 3000 grit abrasive disc and the lens surface before sanding so with the 3000 grit it asks us to go through and do uh, a water base basically wet sanding with the 3000 grit on many lenses a white residue slider will build up on the lens okay um great wipe the lens after the 3000 grit sanding and then on the next step, we have dispense a dime size amount of polishing compound to the orange foam polishing pad. Before turning the drill, smear the polish with the orange. So basically like uh, polishing your car, that's what you do here. And that's great instructions. Uh, holding the polishing pad flat on the lens, polish the lens. Okay, sanding structures are still visible. Repeat steps 11 to 18. So that means if you have still visible scratches, go ahead and resand your your headlight with a 3000 grit enough for this let's go ahead and uh, put it to work so if that would stay still that would be great okay so here's our drill this is a um, biobe drill it's one of my favorite tools and uh, let's attach this thing to the Ryobi drill okay Seems steady enough. And let's go ahead and put our 500 grit. The sandpapers have lettering. This is 800, this is 500. So let's put our 500 grit on the top of our drill and that will, will stay there. That's aggressive enough let's go ahead and bring our headlight here okay so I know what you would say 
Andrew, why did you take your headlight out? That's because I took the bumper out and everything off the car in a previous episode so it would be easier for me to do this procedure when the headlight is outside of the car uh, for you you will have to mask all the area with a masking tape around the headlight but for me i have the headlights off so i will go ahead and do that really quick So this is the old headlight and this is the new headlight and you can see the comparison is basically day and night we took all that yellowness and we created this thing basically we sanded it down and we polished it and now all this yellow is gone well uh, I think I could do something different on here I could sand it down a little bit better with the 3000 so I'm going to go ahead and do this one with something that I learned with this kit and let's see how this one turns out. Okay, I now finished with both of the sides. They definitely look much better uh, than the uh, than we started with. I can say that this side looks clearer. I don't know if you can see it in, on the camera, um, but I can definitely see it with the naked eye. Maybe, it, yeah, I think it's uh, a little bit obvious. This side is clearer than this side. And the reason is because I, there's two uh, settings on this uh, Dremel, on this drill. There's setting one and there's setting two. This first one, I did it with a setting two. That means the drill is faster, something like this. And the second one, I did it with a second one. That means the drill is slower, something like this. Okay, that means, uh, of course, the manual says you need to do it with uh, 12 to 1400 RPM, but I didn't know the spec, I messed up, so I need to go ahead and redo this, resand it from uh, the beginning and make it as good as this one uh, with the lowest setting on the drill. So we can have the perfect and awesome finish that we have with these headlights. This is still, more faded but this is super clear and nice this one needs a little bit more work and that's because i did it on higher speed so now i know and you guys know that uh the higher the speed on your drill or your polishing the worse the result the polishing needs to be around 1000 rpm so that the finish comes out perfect and all the small scratches get filled so let's go ahead and put the headlights on the car and see the final result. We're now done with the placement of the headlights and I also put the bumper on so I can see the fitment. The fitment is, is great and there, the gaps are pretty nice. There's a big gap here that's because the screws are missing. 
from inside the bumper which brings it upwards but other than that uh, these headlights look a lot better than before I don't like these ones I don't like the right ones as much as the ones on the left these ones turn out much better and this ones turn out a little bit worse and I think because I overdid it with a compound but I'll get to that later when my foaming pad uh, dries out so that I can put some new compound on it. All right, so however, we got them back to their almost original state from what they were before. You can also uh, go through this procedure again uh, if you want to make them, you can you can try again and make them look even even nicer. For me right now, they're pretty good. So I'm gonna leave them in this state until I finish with the rest of the car and then I'll get back to them later. Uh, but for now we can see that a uh, $15 kit can make such a big difference and it didn't take me much of time. Like it took me around um, one hour for both. Maybe it can take you up to two hours for restoring both headlights. Supposedly that you don't have to take them off the car. It might take you even less. So that is all for today. Thanks for being here and thanks for watching this video. This video one, I wanted to show you how with just $15 you can uh, restore your art headlights. If they're in very bad shape, you can make them almost brand new. Um, I, you can do it like me. I didn't have any experience with that before. So I just read the instructions and it's basically, uh, it, it basically takes you through the procedure and it's very easy to do at home. So I'll see you next time and please like if you like this kind of content, like this video or subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot. I'll see you next time.